just to continue here, um, the yeah. uh, Games Beat article that uh, you're part of has is discusses um, the negative aspects of ga the gaming culture, which obviously exist. Um, they include toxicity, bullying, um, and sometimes even lack of diversity. How exactly can emotional intelligence or let's say the incorporation of emotional intelligence into video game, address these issues within the community? Unfortunately, um, the, the, the pieces that you named around toxicity and bullying don't exist just in the gaming space. Mm. We see that, you know, in, in the classroom, we see that in boardrooms, we see it in all aspects of life. And so, again, going back to kind of some of the basics of emotional intelligence, it fosters empathy and self awareness and effective communication. And those are all skills that you need in order to, um, kind of combat the negativity that's out there. And, and for me, it all begins with self-awareness. That's to me, step one. And so if you can't identify your own emotions and feelings and the impact it has on others, then it's harder to understand where people are coming from. So it's, a, it's, it's foundational in terms of um, being able to create positive change. Can emotional intelligence be incorporated and be effective in video games that uh, are largely focused on killing other players that are controlled by other players? In other words, in massive multiplayer games where the whole point is to kind of go uh, fight against each other. And in those games, at certain times, there are aggressive players and there is t toxicity. And if that's if it's possible to battle that somehow in a way. I'd like to think so. I mean, it's a little bit of an experiment. I think that we see it in, you know, Half-Life is, is a violent first-person shooter game. Um, and so we've seen how, how it works um, in terms of, of who Alex is and how she leads and, and teaches and impacts the, the player. Um, but I think integrating EI into game design would mean that you create characters and narratives that have an emotional response. So if, if, if you're drawn in in that way, I think that that's meaningful and that's teaching emotional skills, even if you still are out to win and, and, and out to, to kill and to dominate. I think that, that the, the storyline there, again, can kind of guide and influence the player and they don't even really necessarily know that it's happening. And I also think that with AI, we're going to see games adapt to experiences and to reflect um, the, the choices that are being made within the game itself. And it'll be more personal and more emotionally engaging in that way when you kind of see that real time reflection of, of, of how the choices you're making are impacting the game as a whole. So again, a little bit outside of my scope of understanding, but that's kind of my vision and my dream. And I've got a lot to learn and lots of conversations to have around what that would really look like. But I, I do believe it's possible. And that's why I'm sitting here and having this conversation with you and yeah. doing what I'm doing because I think it Absolutely. needs to be there. I, I agree with you hundred percent. I think uh, to be able to learn something from a video game and especially without you knowing that you learned it is a big deal. I really relate to that through my, I wouldn't say career, but my experience in, in video games all the way from around six or seven years old. Um, and there's a lot of things that I learned and if that could be propelled to more and more uh, gamers and players uh, through the incorporation of emo emotional intelligence, um, let's say very targeted emotional intelligence. I think that's very positive uh, for the industry itself. So um, you mentioned the process of integration and you said that it it's possible to integrate it with um, the correct, um, let's say characteristics of, um, of different characters and, 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 aspects and feelings of these characters. But you also mentioned AI. Could you talk about AI at all and how that could uh, be integrated into the game? Or, or Yeah. Yeah, no, no, that's definitely outside of my scope of expertise. Okay. I would say, I mean, I would say in creating a team in the same way that I shared with you earlier, I want to create a database. I mean, there are people out there that live and breathe AI and that, that in, in the ways that it's already being used to um, support 
people in the arena of like mental health and these opportunities to interact on these platforms where you share symptoms or feelings and whatnot. I mean, it's tough. I mean, even within coaching, so outside of gaming, within coaching at Rice University, I know that they've done a couple of um, – trial runs of AI interacting with clients because coaching is all about asking questions, right? More so than telling people. And so uh, again, outside of my scope of full understanding, I I love coaching because it's relational and it's one-on-one and it's a real-time conversation. But as AI continues to evolve and learning from coaches and the questions that they ask and then learning and understanding the person and their answers, I think that there's there's a lot there for sure. And, and there are coaches at Rice specifically who have gone through a gamut of, of questions and sharing that that's being used to see how um, they can respond to clients and prompting people when they're kind of in a tight spot and they're wanting support. But again, so outside of, of what I'm personally doing right now, I just, Understood. from what I know and what I've understood from others is that they're, it's rich with potential. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. AI, yeah. AI is here to stay if it's good or if it's bad, but we'll see.